And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Yes. Holy shit, it's Cheese Day on The Bonfire. It's Wine and Cheese Day on The Bonfire, everybody. Lou, could you cue our Wine and Cheese music, please? Please. Thank you. Welcome to a regal Monday event of Wine and Cheese on Comedy Central Radio's The Bonfire, Sirius XM 95, with Jason Okerson, Daniel Soda, joined by Lewis Witzke, Christine Marie Evans, Jacob Atot, and Lewis Johnson. It's, so, it's a beautiful day. I really enjoy Wine and Cheese Day. I'll say this, it's... For a man that's dressed like he's going through his garage to find something, <laughs> I really feel classy. No, it's come here. on. You know, it's a power drill. It was a power drill. I, go, I mean, it was fucking right here last winter. Right here. Right where I'm standing. It was right here. I don't know, Darlene, because that's where I left it. Yeah. When no. I fixed the bookshelf. It's this voice. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to look inside. I don't know. I'm looking. It wouldn't even fit in that box. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, did I miss you. I haven't. I we did our. so hard. We did our lost tapes, but then. Uh, I was out Wednesday for the live show. Well, you did miss the birth of Poncho Mike, which international hit. <laughs> really? I mean, international hit Poncho Mike. Selling out soccer stadiums. Oh. That's the mark of an international superstar. <laughs> when you yeah. sell out the Estadiado de Football. <laughs> <laughs> Los Estediamos. Yeah, oh, I see. Um, yeah, I did miss it, but I'm, I was here in spirit. Did and you I watched, get to hear Poncho Mike at all? I watched the Insta stories. Yeah. Because I, yeah, it was, I still have a I was, I was in Phoenix this weekend, and uh, I guess, by the way, should we, have we said it? This is the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio Series. Yeah, dude, we did the 95? whole thing. I did a whole fancy introduction. I did a whole thing. <coughs> oh, with the Regal. All the info was in all there. On the dude. Regal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Legal is cool. Poncho Mike! I was in, uh, I was in Phoenix. Uh, this weekend, and people really were coming with me doing it. That's just my, that's just Poncho Mice experiences. <laughs> <laughs> people I'm bummed people really the, enjoyed it. I'm bummed that I was uh, not here. You for would have birth, been all over it, buddy. Birth of Poncho Mike. Birth of Poncho Mike. I mean, that picture is so great. God damn that. I love, I, it's actually a fucking really cool picture, though, with the one with his glasses with the floor on the back. Oh, yeah. I do like that a lot. All joking aside, I hate to break the fourth wall. But I really do enjoy it's it. It's pretty dope. It's fucking sick, because it's like, where is the photographer? <sighs> Maybe that's just Pancho Mike's experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, you know what Pancho Mike say? If a girl's old enough to paint her toenails, she's old enough to fuck, right? Yes. <laughs> hey, at least that's just been Pancho Mike's experience. Can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. Just on the sales side, just as the guy that's trying to help push, push tickets for Pancho Mike. Mm-hmm. Um... Is it Mike Fenoya doing this voice on stage? Uh, uh, Poncho Mike is uh, Mike Fenoy is almost out of the Poncho. So this Mike is just business. a lifestyle. At this point, it's the character I created for him that I've made, Poncho Mike. I get it. You've taken over. It should be a cartoon, though. That would be great. Poncho Mike. Someone should animate Poncho Mike. Poncho Mike from festival to festival. Oh yeah, just doing wildly racist uh, Mexican jokes. <laughs> mm-hmm. But voiced by a Mexican American actor, or no, Mexican no, 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 actor? No, 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 it's me. You, okay. I'm Poncho Mike. Yeah, okay. No, it's gonna raise eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you know what though? You do one good hot season. <laughs> yeah. Then you get ripped off the air. But hear me out. And Jeremy from Comedy Central is in the house today. Hear me out. You got to drop the whole season. Yeah. You can't give him one episode to get pissed off about because no. then we're not going to get those to week two. Yeah. I know. I get the biz. It's I like, understand. It's like when you explain to someone that you fucked over that you fucked them over, you fuck them over, then just avalanche them with other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Just wail on them. Yeah. Just really like, late down. Oh, you go, yeah. No, and no, no, I don't I have your money. I, and I have to stay over for another you know, week. Slept with your sister. But also, dude, I got those tickets to go to the game. So we're cool with that. And also, dude, are we going away next week? <laughs> and then, you know, you're trying to back claw. Jeremy came in. In uh, what I can only call a gust of Gary, uh, oh, yeah. bringing us a good term. <laughs> three year anniversary gifts for being on the air, and we'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. He gave us custom made action figures um, of Big J and I wrestling figures, and it's the Bonfire with the box and everything. I mean, I'm gonna again break the fourth wall, let you know it's definitely Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. For those of you who are wondering what action figures they made, damn, dude. Someone's right. going to call it out online, so you get ahead of it. Someone gave you a TV for Christmas, and you're like, oh, cool. 
See, look, it's a Vizio. But <laughs> no, you go like this. This the way the way you be shitty like that is you go. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I think I saw these at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> like, Someone's like, oh, so what? Just it ain't shit. I think I saw some bums watching one of these in an alley. <laughs> you go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what the train station uses <laughs> <laughs> to, show, to, show the, to show the different fucking trains. Vizio goes. Oh, my old computer monitor was Vizio. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know they make tube TVs still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the tube TV business. That's oh. funny. One of my one of my my first big TV. My my parents gave me theirs when yeah. they changed theirs. My stepfather was super. And by the way, he was like a research the TV guy. My he stepfather would, Joe was. He was like about that particularly. He really was cared he about the talk, TV. Was he talk the ear off the salesman at the store? Yes. Okay. About TV particularly, he wanted the the best one when he could get it. Yeah. Uh, I had some. I, I tell you, it shows funny how much funny uh, it is to me that. Joe's influenced me as a stepfather. Like, I mean, yeah, he's your big stepdad. Deal. Big deal that I wanted to get like nice TVs. Yeah. So he always kept on having a nice TV. And he, but the brand Mitsubishi. Yeah. You know they were in the they, wait the, the car? TV game the Eclipse the the makers of the Eclipse maker of the Eclipse yeah made TVs. Can you, Christine? Can you look up some Mitsubishi? Because that's crazy. Because I growing up, I had a Saab TV. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking nuts. Saab was in the toaster he's game a for a hot second. He's like, bro, coming over. I got a fifty-two inch Corvette <laughs> in my living room. Hey, yo, what? Why would you? Yeah, what is it? He goes, it's a big screen, uh, flat LED Chevrolet. You go, dude. Remember that dinner party last Wednesday? Remember how you were complimenting the utensils? What if I told you those are Ford? Look, dude. Wait, home theater. They're still in the game. They're still in the game. Why, why are you nodding at me, I Jacob, like you to, knew it? My family used to have a Mitsubishi TV. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying something earlier. Uh, we just brought he was up. just nodding agreeably. He's in like, fact, yeah, it's badass. TV. <laughs> he goes, also, that thing goes zero to 60 in about 15 seconds. It's I used to nuts. work at English Town Auction Flea Market, and they used to have Wait, say those Mitsub- words again? Mits- Mitsubishi knockoff TVs, like Mitsubishi. <laughs> I think you're just saying it's it differently. True. They had a no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, this was at a flea market? Yeah. And they just like buy the guy, it? There was a couple of guys would just sell you say, yeah, about Sunni. This. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. What, what Wait, did it really? It had like the name a little different like that? Yeah. Really? That's such a funny thing to get. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a thing TV. Sam, Samsung? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go, dude, that's, I, how much did you pay for this TV? And he's like, why? What are you talking about? You're like, it's a... Pilvania? <laughs> you're like, Sylvania? Sylvanias are kind of shitty, are they? That's Sagnavox? What, that's what we had. We had a Sylvania. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's straight up fucking right Aid TV, buddy. All right, dude. Why don't you back up? You got that, a box fan, Halloween candy, a we card, had, a prescription, well, got we had, your blood pressure checked. Uh, growing up, I didn't have Waited that. in line for a blow pop. I didn't have There's a, still more things. Sylvania. You read Us Weekly while you were waiting. <clears throat> You bought a impulse purchase pair of socks, a peppermint I chocolate. Pressure. I got some compression socks. Can you get a <laughs> ten rolls of bounty for seven dollars if you have your card, Christina? Can you look up the uh, Christine? Can you look up the one Sylvania with the wood siding, the wood panel on the oh, side? Hell yeah! It looked like it was made of wood. No shit, dude. That was our TV until I moved out, and then my mom got a fucking new Sony TV. And wood I was like, cabinet TV. Oh, dude, it was fucking. Could crusty. you imagine where we live today? The idea of like housing a cabinet television. I'm like, it would be. It would have to pay rent. <laughs> It'd just be a burden. It just would a be a fucking burden. Fucking burden. Christine uh, wants to get a bookcase. It's a life decision. Yeah. You guys really have to go. You have to have a, multiple house meetings, <laughs> multiple city council house, house city councils. Yeah, we got a um, a Sylvania that you used to have to, by the end, by the time I was 17, you had to punch it real hard on the side to get it to correct sometimes. And it would work, though. Like fonts. Isn't that great when you had anything? You can Wasn't that it one. Make it work? It was like a, uh, oh, I think my mom yeah. got it in like 1988. Oh, shit. We're busting out wine for the wine and cheese day. Lou, this is lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, you pouring it into a paper cup? We talking Not about? Not close, but it's the only way it I can bring. It's the only way I can bring it into the bowling alley. <laughs> yeah, they said it's cool if I do this. As long <laughs> wine and cheese day. What's that, Jacob? Oh, would you like me to smell the cork? It close. It was nicer than that. It was like uh oh, right, right there, the middle one. Uh, up, left. Boom. How's that cork? It was great. Close well, how yeah. long should I let this breathe for? I don't know. Where'd you guys purchase this wine? Is it old world, new world? What's going on? I think Dwayne Reed. I am. I would like to see. Can I see this, Jacob? 
Can I read? Can I, I got read that. Facial wipes. Oh, you guys got a Cote de Rome. It's a Mon, a Mon Bien, 2016. Shut Cote up. Cote de Rome. Oh, this is from the JL Chauvet Selection. <laughs> Monsieur, would you like some radio station wine? Christine, in the background while this is playing, can you also play the girl falling while making wine again? I really... Uh, uh, I'm just in such a good mood today. I just want to laugh at something. Uh, that's like, <laughs> it's so funny. Um, that's some good wine, dude. I don't know if I was in Phoenix this weekend, man. All Things Comedy Festival. What? All Things Comedy Festival. Fantastic festival. <laughs> Wait, bring it back. Vineyard tours, seminars, Stop. arts and crafts. It's a lot of fun. A whole day. Stop. By the way, I also forgot she does a dick movie and they, she, they go stop and she she just does a couple extra like fast stop. Watch her go back. The She's thing, a dick. The one thing we never talked about is the owner the owner of the vineyard standing in the porch smoking an expensive cigarette, watching <laughs> that, and he goes, "Excellent." <laughs> yeah. Uh, I goes, enjoy nothing. Don't run. In, don't run in the grape tubs. Tubs. Oh, he goes, it looks like your feet got. Out from under you. <laughs> I'm going to retire to the opium den. Watch your dick move, though. It's a lot of fun. A whole day. Stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> see? Yeah. He goes, stop, and then she just does a little... <laughs> trying to be cute. Trying to be cute. I felt, I've fallen too many times getting out of the shower trying to be cute. <laughs> well, that's what happens, Stella. Yeah. I, you, I told you to stop. I told you to stop. You need to listen to rules. You said stop. You broke your own goddamn rule. He goes, oh, yeah, them barrels get down and mush down good. It gets slippery. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> start mucking it up. Uh, um, so you were in Phoenix. Phoenix. And you went to college there. I went to college in Tucson. I know, I know the, the garbage there is garbage, for sure. Like, the garbage is real ragged out garbage. Yeah. But man, there is a town of beautiful chicks. Well, Phoenix is a large city. And, and I there's mean, a lot just of... just dressed in... Nothing. Well, it's always desert weather, so it's nice and hot, and they can just. I'm not, like, I know, but there's hot. There's dressed for hot. You know what I mean? There's a summer in Fargo, North Dakota. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm when you're, but when, it, when it's always hot, you kind of become better at dressing for that in a sexier way. Like Fargo, North Dakota, they got like three months where they're like, get it on, get those tits out, go, 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 <laughs> chalky go! tits going outside. Ah, and- it's like hitting the sun like a vampire. Ah, it's, it's, ah, how long can you take? Ah, oh, look at that! Lucy's burnt up on her boobies. <laughs> ah, and then just fucking desert. It's just they're just walking around in that fucking environment that's like. That's, that's the noise. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I said that driving through. I, I said that driving from Tucson to Tempe when I did shows there three weeks ago with Shane. I go, just look out here and just hear this noise and know this is what I heard in my head for five years. <laughs> yeah, that it's just hot, and then when it rains, it smells like wet nails. I do feel the idea. If you live there, you feel like it's always hot. You're, like it's, you're always hot and in danger of something. Yeah, like, always, like like a like an armadillo or yeah, something. But I was always squinting. I was always doing this. Like you're just like outside, and you're like the <laughs> sun is unrelenting. Uh, yeah, still get like a buck twenty. Five outside, right? Phoenix gets hotter than Tucson because it's in a valley, and I, I, I believe that to be true. I was told that. I could be wrong. If this is I come from the old school of being told things by people in bars and you believing them, and you're like, well, that's information that's, to me now. That's bar lore you that's got. Bar, that's bar. That's bar geography. You know, sit over here, kid. What are you? 20, you know, Phoenix, 21, 22 years old. A, a golden nugget in Tucson, just getting hammered during the day, and some guy being like, you know, Phoenix gets hotter because it's in a valley, and you're like, I didn't. I'm gonna say that on a radio. Do you even show. understand the science of why that would make it get hotter? Make the heat sit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when you said it, I was like, is it the reason? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, had a, I we didn't really are really... two idiots. Yeah, but that's. I'm pretty honest about it. But we it's... need a staff scientist. We do need a staff scientist. Jeremy, what's the scratch look like on, <laughs> on retaining a scientist? What's Budge looking like this year to get maybe a staff scientist? I say, uh, you know, uh, you know, come more big, big pops with the Welch's reads. <laughs> we get in some of that serious Welch's money. I say we get a nice botanist, yeah. maybe a meteorologist. Uh, I think a meteorologist would be right up Jay's alley. He's, I think we're doing good. We're trying to pad the palms over there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know these, uh, these grape terrorists are, uh, they're, they're, they're holding themselves, they're raking it over the fire, for yeah. sure. Listen, if Blink wants to do business with the bonfire, they get us a scientist. <laughs> Blink, keep your money. Keep your money. Just get us a staff scientist. Did, did I tell you someone from Wawa reached out? What? To you? 
Yeah. Was it uh, any of the founding Wawa's? It was Marcus Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Wawa texted me and was like, what's up? And I'm like, bitch, you know what's up. And he what do you like, get on this cheddar horseradish chips, bitch? <laughs> Stupid bitch. Love you, bitch. Uh, hold on. I'll tell you right now. Um, so he wrote, uh, hey, Dan, my name is Lee. I hope he doesn't get mad for me calling him out. I won't say what his Twitter handle is or anything, or his Instagram handle. Been a big fan for years. Just wanted to let you guys know I work for Wawa, and I've been talking to our marketing team about reaching out to you guys to try and win you back from Sheets. Here's the great part. We're not even really with Sheets. We're in an open thing. Sheets talked a whole bunch of smack about sending yeah. shit out. But then we hooked up, and then Sheets left, and I was like, I don't think it was good enough. Yeah. That, like, Sheets wants us back. Sheets gave us like uh, pepperoni rolls, like put the tip in a little bit. And then oh, dude, that was a out of the business. That was a parking lot beach. I have the reflux. <laughs> like, that was a parking lot. Like, I, was, I was like, oh, 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 man's coming back on me. Oh, 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 someone's got a whole neck of venom. Oh, you're supposed to wreck pepperoni roll while you're talking for two hours. Oh, uh, no, not when you're pushing your diaphragm. Uh, you guys see that new uh, Kevin Hart movie? Boo. Dude, this is yes. great. I wrote, I wrote, Lee, do not play games with me. My heart is too fragile for this. <laughs> Right? I, I agree with you, yeah. Thank you. And then he wrote, I would never do that to you. I work as a Wawa GM in Florida and will not allow you guys to travel down the pothole riddle road to sheets. I've spoken to our marketing and public relations department and hoping to hear back next week. Yeah. So, even the Respect. Thought, you know what it is? It's the soldiers trying to turn the army for us. And that's where you win is the people. It's, they gotta get in You there. know, we don't get political, but we get political for gas station sandwiches. When that guy's at a roadway in somewhere for the Wawa gathering of all the GMs they yeah. do. Where they, where, which is really just a fuck fest, let's oh, be honest. Dude, I'll tell you this. They turn a Radisson into basically Caligula. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sodom and Gomorrah at the La Quinta Inn I mean, <laughs> by the Spokane <laughs> Airport. They thought, last year, they the three people died, and that was the best year oh, so my, far. Yeah, the Sonesco. Oh, fuck. What's the hotel that they put you in at, at Helium? Uh, uh, Sonesta? Sonesta. Oh, this, oh, in Philly? Yeah. The, the Sonesta or the Sofitel or something? Yeah, like the Sonesta. I don't know. I forget. You, It all blends together. It does. Um, but they, yeah, they just, oh, that'd be awesome. Or they do a general manager Thunderdome. <laughs> That's how they pick the next secession. It's a Sonesta. He's just sitting there covered in blood and his clothes are up and he goes, <sighs> so we're going to mark it with the bonfire. <laughs> 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 We're getting in bed with this radio show. Uh, and we're guys, buying in. We're going full deep in. Uh, what's the second quarter projections looking like <laughs> next year? I think goes, we need to have more Let me more talk to a... Tara in HR. He goes, Tara? Tara? He goes, you, you, could... he goes, you took Tara's eyes out with a pencil. He goes, I did. Yeah. I did. Okay. Oh, is Graham from the uh, <laughs> the upper state stores here? They go, you killed him with a spear. He goes, I did do that. I did. Okay, cool. I think we need more of a presence on the turnpike. <laughs> I think we go with billboards. We go with rest stops. I mean, let's get in the rest stop game. Why are we not there? I'll tell you what. I don't know why they're not there. I don't know why Wawa's not in the rest stop game. Uh, I can help. I got a lot of ideas. Oh, dude. <laughs> Open in New York. Break the seal. There was the rumor Pop that the they cherry. were building one on Spring Street. Right? Didn't someone have a picture of that? It was... Uh, I go to Atlanta! Yeah, it was, I go to Atlanta all the time! time. Wasn't it like a museum or something? It was like a museum or something. A Wawa it was like a, museum? No, it was like a picture oh, okay. or something. It was like a picture of coming soon Wawa or something. I mean... <sighs> they won't do it. Can I tell you this, though? You'd There's go, something you'd go nice... Partner, you'd, go, you'd partner with me and Ari Shafir on a Wawa in Manhattan. Dude, I would love to be... Can we all cut the ribbon together on one giant pair of scissors? Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'll fucking... I'll franchise a Wawa right now. Why are we not doing this? <sighs> Sorry, guys. Been fun. Thanks for the action figures. Bonfire, out. <laughs> you want to see Jesus. us? Watch me getting fucking flooded with sandwich orders. <laughs> watch me grayer than I already am. You want to come hit, hit, hit deep in the weeds, making <laughs> yeah. shorties for everybody? You go, hey, Dan, love the bonfire. Yeah, great, great. Okay, yeah, cool. Like a, I got two smoked honeys that I'm running fucking five minutes behind because I can't find the goddamn mayo bottle. I'm sorry. I know you already started making it, but I, can I change it to a whole wheat roll? <laughs> yeah. Uh, do yeah. You, do you like voices? Uh, you a big Winnie the Pooh fan? <clears throat> Why don't you go fucking kill yourself? Because you ordered the sandwich a particular way. When you change your order, you become a prick. He, he, he break out. He goes, he goes, 
that's why all the options are in the fucking oh, machine. He goes, oh, did you order your did you order yours on the computer? <laughs> then you chose, so you fucked it up. <laughs> Get to the back of the line. I got it. In the eight one eight. <laughs> yeah, you just yell at the order. Seventy eight. Who's seventy eight? Right here. Turkey lettuce. When you hear your number, though, you know you're in. You look up and you see those two cannons just sitting on the fucking Thursday on the counter for you. Thursday night, Helium Philly this year. Mm-hmm. I get super stoned after the show. Very high. I don't know how Lou didn't play that. <laughs> I'm shredding per <laughs> year. <laughs> Danny says, goes, I'm longboarding down Samson and Shunk. I mean, I am bombing down Walnut. No regulation. I'm blocking the box. I'm going fast. <laughs> I'm doing everything I need to do. I'm switching up. <laughs> I'm going goofy. I'm going regular. <laughs> I'm switching south. I'm switching classic. I'm McFlying it, taking some trucks around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo drifting a longboard. Uh, yeah, because I had a, a Hyundai Elantra uh, yeah. swung me over to market. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but the, I got real stoned and went to the the one on market right by the sen, the lovely Senesta that they put us at, and I got stoned real. I was real fucked up, <laughs> and I ordered my sandwich, like went, got the hers got the apple fritter did you get something here that you're ashamed of because you hesitated there am i just reading into it because i didn't know when i paid for the sandwich i thought i paid for it before i got all the other stuff but i didn't i got all the others i got the ginger ales the waters the apple fritters you know some mambas went to the counter paid for it i gave her my sandwich ticket you know how you're supposed to hold on to it Mm -hmm. and it was fucking packed on on a thursday night i gave her my sandwich ticket and then i'm like standing there and it's filled with people getting their sandwich orders. And I was like, fuck, I don't know what number I am. And I don't have my ticket. And the line was like long. And I, I was look at the rece- Here's the beauty, too, is the receipt's got your whole order on it. I didn't know where the receipt was. No. When it's on the sandwich? Yeah, on the, when it, on the sandwich when it comes out. You could read it on the, sand- on the, on the ticket on it. Would it I was so high. I was just in the back. You like, just didn't think that was a possibility even? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm yeah. like, I don't know what That's the That's a fuck. good kind of high. Where you're like, like what, there's no way to solve this problem. No, I go, I, do, I just, do I just sit here? Do I let the wave crash over me? And I do kept, I go to the end of the night when there's only uh, one sandwich left? I don't know that one's mine. He goes, wait, it never closes. Oh! <laughs> But there was a, the, yeah, I wait till it, everyone goes home. Whatever sandwich is left is clearly mine. But I was waiting there, and it was one of those things where I had to talk, when you're stoned and you talk to yourself, and you're like, dude, come on, you're fucking 35. You can figure this out. You can fucking do this, man. You can do this, man. And then I just kind of fucking posted up, like Jokic on the Nuggets, yeah. who are 4-1 and one, playing the Pelicans tonight, who are 4-1. and one. Let's go Nugs. Uh, Niners are 1-8. and eight. It's it's pretty bad. Uh <laughs> I was posted up and I just started watching the orders. So when they, that's what I did because I saw on the thing I was like, "Oh shit, it says what it is." And then she was like, "Turkey bacon," you know, and I'm like, "Got it, got." It. And I just, I took it, but I thought here's the fear in my head that she was gonna be like, "Where's your ticket?" And then I'm like, "Fuck, I I don't have it." You'll never get an attitude like that at a Wawa. One time that happened to me ever. I really? made it a real thing, and the guy apologized <laughs> because he asked for your ticket. No, he was just a dick, like a dick employee. But everyone at Wawa, I've always found to be just delightful. I mean, it's... Or head down, doing their that's job. That's what you need. Uh, just grind out some yards. Yeah, Just absolutely. get the sandwiches made. Man, yeah. I hope we get one back. I really I, hope... You have to go over. I hope if you want comes them, If you want your pretzel to be mustarded yeah. at Wawa, yeah. you got to give it to the deli people. They don't leave the mustard anymore because they don't trust the garbage that comes through there. <laughs> yeah. Which is fair enough. Yeah. I'll over mustard. It's, an op- it's, it's like an glasses. opposite zoo. The cage is for them. I'll over mustard. You know what's the truth? You don't need to over mustard a pretzel. So I'm fine with them divvying it out. I do like over mustarding a pretzel, though, and clearing those sinuses. But they, yeah. But they, well, you yellow mustard a pretzel. Clear sinuses. I, uh. Yeah. Yellow mustard. Clears your sinuses? No. You see, I snort it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, do the, throw up that, that, oh. That's the Plockman's looks like nasal spray. Get that Plockman's crank up there. You've never crank? done a yellow mustard nutty pot? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. He goes, that sounds ridiculous. He goes, haven't had a cold in four years. Uh, All cool. right, but I guess I'm, yeah. you're right. But I'm an I'm, asshole. But I'm crazy. I'm, sure. the, I'm sure. the dickhead. I'm the Got guy it. walking around not sick. Got it. Okay. Cool. You guys sit, you, you nutty pot with salt water. Oh, that's great. Brilliant. Yeah. That probably burns, right? <laughs> yeah. Idiots. Yeah, you know, it's not supposed to do that. Did you know that? And did you know it was invented in Germany with m- mustard seeds? <laughs> so learn your shit. Learn <laughs> yeah. your shit. Learn your shit. Um, 
So yeah, we, but they but they do the and you can't hand somebody your pretzel and have the mustard all day and have them be a bitchy personality can't take that job you'd go nuts. Oh yeah, I try to do give attitude. You're trying to do something mustarding. else, and then on top of that, people are coming over every five seconds for you to can muster you their pretzel. My, I go, I can fuck it. I that wouldn't be good for that job. I don't have the temperament. Me I would, either. I was such a psycho. But when I, I was respect a waiter. the position enough. I yeah. respect it not to put myself in that position. Oh yeah, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to dishonor the uniform. No, not at all, dude. Man, you're so valiant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can I say something as I look at action figures of us that I love? You're so valiant. <laughs> so was it hot in phoenix was it still like when it i was, was there not, it was nice okay because when i was there it was still a little hot where yeah. it was like no i thought it was actually not really nice actually okay yeah it's dry as shit and it, i really didn't ever know what that meant until i moved out east it's not humid and got hit with humidity and it was fucking hell on earth yeah, it's a real kick in the dick nothing makes me like fall more than living in arizona for five years and then the first summer i get is in fucking new york where it's just like living in a wet sock you get like you can't breathe right yeah i lived the first year i moved here no, i'm saying when you go outside do you get that too and you get in your such as the air is thick to breathe yeah it does it's swamp water <laughs> yeah the first year i lived here i didn't have air conditioning on either place that i lived were you an immigrant <laughs> I didn't have any money, and I had I lived on a, you had a family. Uh, I had a, someone who cares about you enough to throw a fifty dollar thing on a credit card. Fifty dollar? No, it was one of the big wall units thing. That was the only space we had. So if I bought a tiny one, it wouldn't have fit in there. You know what I mean? It was one of the big ones. But it's you, like up in the wall. You've you couldn't put apartment. one in a window though. I didn't have a window in my room. I had a windowless room. Oh, I got you. So the, well, Remember got my Mandela there, cave? Yeah. Well, you can't sleep like that. You should ask somebody to help I used you. to have to take uh, cold showers at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'd wake up like so hot and sweaty that I'd just go and turn on the water like on the lowest setting and then just be like, <gasps> and then just go lay back down and just thaw out for the next two hours as I slept. <laughs> just bed constantly wet. I've told this story before on the show, though, about when I got caught sleeping in my roommate's room because he had air conditioning. No. I never told that story. Like, like Goldilocks? Dude, he was, he was like fucking 96 degrees out with 100% humidity. It was just one of those days where you're like, this is so awful. And I, we didn't have air conditioning in our living room. Somebody's been sleeping my in my bed and he's still there. Oh, hey, brother. <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? Uh, and my roommate. What's up, Bears? Shout out Vic Garcia. Uh, he had a wall, he had an air conditioner in his window and he had one of the window rooms. And he went to work, and I just wasn't sleeping because it was so hot. And I went in his room, and I turned his it on. His bed definitely would have supported you. That is for sure. Yeah. I turned on his air conditioning, l- shut his door. It just became like, it It was a wall. It's a window unit. So it just, it, st- it gets as cold as you want it to. It doesn't shut off. Mm-hmm. Like now, I have one in the wall where it, at a certain degree, it shuts off. So this was just, got, it got down to I like. I turn that function off. It makes me furious. Yeah, because it stops, and it goes, <laughs> no, that, that also on. makes you wait to like not be comfortable again till it yeah. kicks back on. This one just was kicking at it until it was like forty degrees in Vic's room, and I I took my uh, my girlfriend's mom. Oh, like where your arms hurt? Oh, dude, yeah, my girlfriend's. <laughs> my girl- you sleep so long when you wake up, you're like, oh, <laughs> dude, what happened? Everything's so tight, <laughs> they so gave, cold here. They gave me a cold. <laughs> my my girlfriend's mom knew I was sleeping on an air mattress, and she gave me like a down comforter, like one that they just had in there. Like, oh, this is our extra down comforter. So I, I, she gave that to me. So I had it at my house. It was too hot. So that I t- hit his air conditioning so low that I brought the air, the down comforter in there, and it was freezing. And this is like mid July. This is at he goes to work at ten a.m. Right? I go in there. I fall asleep. The next thing I know, he's walking in from work at five thirty. And he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, yeah. I was like, yeah. Sleeping wah, better than I wah, ever have in my life. Wah, I, was, yeah, I slept so, he was, dude, he was like, fuck, dude, he got up. He's like, it's like 30 degrees in here. I was like, I slept so good. I was just like, in my shorts on. You by the way, I wasn't, slow, like, uh, I wasn't, hey, I, I wasn't sleeping like on his pillow laying down. I was on the foot of his bed like a dog. Like laying like a dog with this fucking Curled down. Up. Oh, dude, so deep. I was sleeping so deep that when he came home, I was confused for three minutes because I was like, did you forget something? And he's like, I worked a full day. And I was like, yeah, because I hadn't been sleep. I probably hadn't slept well in like a week at that point. That's a sleep you remember. Oh, dude, I never forget that. I live in that room now. 
<laughs> and I crank that AC sometimes as a fucking shout out. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to the Polar King, VC. Vic Garcia. VG. VG. All right, let's take our first break and we'll come back. I'm having so much fun. It's wine and cheese day. Flying by. It's wine and cheese day right here. Bonfire. Yeah. I'm trying to be your dad. I'm just trying to be your friend. It's Jay on the Wheels of Steel here. 40 minutes nonstop self parroting. It's untucked. 20 minutes till the hour. Uh, what's going on out there at the Lincoln Tunnel? We got a jam about 25 minute delays on both sides. Hey, bud, your mom means a lot. It's Serious 105. If you're heading out to the World Series tonight, you are having, suffering from a brain injury. Yeah. That happened last night. So hey. turn the car around and all go back the, to the home. <laughs> all the rejoiners. Ah, what a radio term. All the rejoiners are just fucking stepdad sayings to them. Where they're going like, think about it like this. He's not. Now you have a brother. It's untucked. 105. This is to we're going to move to a different part of town. It's Untucked Radio. Stepdad Rock. W-U-N-T-K. Taking you fishing all afternoon. With Big J and Dan Soder. Untucked 105. Sure, we can sign your permission slip. <laughs> <laughs> It's Untucked Radio. Dude, I always went to 102.3 WUNTK. Well, what did your mom say about it? I'd always go to Nick. He goes, is your mom... He goes, this is WUNTK. I want to know if your mom's still dating Raymond. Yeah. You're listening to Sirius 105 Untucked. Did your mom say that was okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get fast food tonight. You cool with that, pal? It's untucked. <laughs> That's a great uh, family guy bit when Stewie sees the park and he's saying, oh, the stereotypes of the park. And he's like, oh, great. It's the uh, weekend dad who's uh, taking his kid for supervised visits to the park. And he's just pushing the kid in the swing. He goes, hey, he goes, how was your birthday party? He goes, was it expensive? Was it $2,000 a month? Because that's what mommy's getting. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, I'd always go to my stepdad for permission slip signings. Because my mom would be like... Was he cool about it? Yeah, dude, he didn't give a fuck. He was like, yeah, where are you going? Which one was that? That was Nick. Uh, Nick, okay. Nick yeah. was the man. Nick was all right, yeah. Nick was the man, dude. He was the coolest dude. He was like, yeah, he was NASCAR. He was super into NASCAR. And this was like 91... So, like, NASCAR was, you know, popular, but it was still kind of underground. It was pretty popular. Jacob was all excited. Joey Fatone won last night. Yeah. <laughs> Joey, Joe Maganelli. Uh, Joe Manginelli. Joe fine Joe time in between playing uh, Deadshot. And banging out Sofia Vergara. Nailing Sofia Vergara. Magic Vergara. Mike around the country finds time to... Vergara. Uh, is, that, is that the proper enunciation? It's been brought to my attention. Sofia Vergara? I butcher Latino last names, Hispanic last names, so I want to make sure that... No. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Vergara. Sofia Vergara. Cheech Marie. Cheech Marie. It, it was one of the Marie. greatest. Yeah, you fucking came in. Uh, but by the way, can I. <laughs> you cheered night. like you didn't know it was going to happen again. You when you watched it, I watched it so many times. I FaceTimed all of you because I wanted to share the moment. Oh, man. I'm sorry <laughs> I wasn't there for nobody you. was. Uh, I, we, all th I, we probably all saw the same thing. It was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I, I said, out. by the way, if I would have saw it when it came in, <laughs> like, Jacob, I couldn't just call. Him. I had to. If I would have saw it when it came in, it would have been. I would have said, like, if I please God, let me hit this, and Jacob just show me like a girl sucking his dick. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Guess and she goes. She goes. <laughs> she goes. Crackle, crackle. He goes. Ah. Just want to say, good looking dudes. Oh, hey, thanks. I'm just soaking. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are you dorks up to? I'm just getting some brain. I'm gonna I get a lot some, of puss. I'm going to suck just, some puss later. Hey, puss. everyone. This is Jessica. She's here to top me off. Hey, uh, or you guys need to top off? I can send her your way after. If you FaceTime me, I just think I'm like, this is a mistake. because, Or you would just be that. an aggressive, uh, like a, that's an aggressive hot girl move where it's like, what's up? What are you doing? And you're like, I don't want to look at my own face. Stop <laughs> making me look at my own face. If I I'll tell that we're going to turn on it. It's going to be you showing like... Like, like baked goods you made, like you yeah. just maniacal baked hey, thing in your show. Hey, look what I'm doing. So you FaceTime, did you FaceTime all of us or yeah. just Jay and I? No, Christine I got it too. Christine. Yeah, I thought it was a mistake. But it exactly wasn't. You, you, wanted, to show, you wanted to show Joey uh, 
Show, Joey Lasagna. <laughs> Joey Logano. Kicked <laughs> ass yesterday at Martin's time. <laughs> Joey, uh, what car is he in? Joey Laguna Number Beach. 22. Penske Ford. Penske! Penske Ford? Penske? Yeah. I thought his name was... Get Le- your ass in here, bro. Are I thought you his Penske name was Ford? Fatone. Pennzoil Ford? That's the sponsors. The sponsor is Pennzoil. On his shirt. His, his car. His car. Yeah. Oh, great. He's, He's 24. I was super Joey into Speed Lugano's Racer for a while. 26 now. Or, no, 27. When I first started smoking pot, I got really into Speed Racer. He's not 78? <laughs> no. That's, that's the... <laughs> oh, it's other people. It's the car number. Gotcha. He beat Martin Truex yesterday. He's the yellow one. Is this a short yeah. track? Would you call this a short track? Yeah, this is the most... The oldest short track. The oh, oldest man, track, I, I think. Martin ain't nothing Silver better Virginia. watching a bunch of big old dogs get out on clip. a short track. Oh, What's the clip. short track for? Is that where the uh, special kids ride? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know they were doing the Retod 500. <laughs> 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 we do... The Comedy, day, Comedy, Central, day, does not, the Comedy day, Central does not condone the use of the R word. The day Slona 500... <laughs> I only had a second to think. I like it though. I fuck it. I think it definitely worked. How did Kurt Busch do? I think he was top ten. Weren't we all going to pick racing? But racers? none of them. Oh yes, yeah, by fully by name. Bush. Oh, that's your guy. Kennington. Oh, hello. My name is Ethan Kennington. I drive the Crown Royal car. Where is this guy? Who are you looking for, Jimmy? Yellow. Sadler. Yeah. I like that name. Who's Sadler? Is he good? Right here. Dude, what's funny, man, is we're like, uh, for NASCAR fans listening to the show right now and us just completely butchering this, they're just like, dude, what the fuck? It's like when you talk about- Oh, they, uh, just, they just hit the green thing on the track. That makes the like, speed burst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is an old race I think Christine's watching. Oh, no. This is the same thing that you, this is the video you pulled up. This is Martinsville, okay. dude. You don't know that track? Come on. Christine, you have to go more towards the end because right now he's just way out ahead. No respect. No respect. I'm totally- <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Joey Lasagna goes down to the final lap. Lingano, dude. I'm sorry. Lingano. Lingano. Joey Lingano. Joey Lingano. Right? I mean, how do you feel now? How do you feel now? Johnny Leginzu. Yeah, dude. It's funny because it's it's funny to see who checks out at what jokes. Like <laughs> like Lou immediately after like a couple Pearl Jam ones was like, "All right, guys," but I think you kind of know it. it's my thing, and I'm gonna be pretty grizzled about this. And then watching Jacob be like, "All right, it's this and shipwrecks where you start shitting on like the Titanic," and he's like, "Are we really doing this?" By the way, dude, I keep getting tagged on this uh, on Instagram. Oh, There's yeah. a Titanic 2? Oh, yeah. They're making one. Yeah, yeah, some guy's actually building it. A- and do you it's going to go on a voyage. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do the trip. To me, I would never. Can we send you? Can we send you? I don't you? think I would do it. Why? What do you mean? I think that's... Uh, Sacrilege? Bad, sacrilegious. You're, you're you were going to say bad juju, the, weren't you? Go? Spitting in Mother Nature. Spitting in Mother Nature? No, you're not. You're spitting at fucking bad, I don't think you ever bad named, navigation. Can they cut a trailer for it like a fucking rematch of a, a fight? Mother <laughs> Nature didn't fucking strike down a... Let's bad uh, ice rocket at them. They were bad eyes. It was a guy who didn't. Bad captain. It was bad yeah. navigating. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I get if you have a smartphone these days, you're looking at your smartphone, don't see the iceberg, boom, people Listen, die. I'm just saying. But also, getting, people don't take voyages by boat. Well, I, I understand. Speak. You're getting on the boat. You go over there and they say, would you like to meet your captain? And it's like, hi, I'm Jennifer. Whatever. I'd be like, all right, I'm going to take off, actually. <laughs> but I'm not going to let some broad ride the Titanic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but. <laughs> it's probably not. It's probably an older gentleman. Oh, it's definitely a well, white-haired, so deviled old man. It was what? So was the captain of the original. Yeah, but it's not him. No. <laughs> what if I told you? Great news, dude. He's what if I gone. told you it's hologram him? <laughs> hologram him? <laughs> they're doing hell it. yeah. They're gonna bring back all the original crew as holograms. It's <laughs> called the Ghost Tour. Iceberg straight ahead. Now everyone, that's just the hologram. It's a hologram. That's not a real iceberg. thing happening. What if we told you that Elon Musk built us this hologram <laughs> machine? Now make an iceberg. EJ <clears throat> Smith. What's that? That was the captain. Nope. Ethan Smith. EJ. Yeah. Edward. His name was EJ. It was Edward John or Eej. All right. Eej, got that info you... down. Now get a girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that's, what right. ki- that's what prevents it. <laughs> all. all right. Now you got that information memorized. Now next day, <laughs> next step's the chick. You go, uh, Jay, I know what not to say, but we're, you know, like on a find a chick but... into Titanic. I bet if we said, if, I bet if you went to like a Titanic conference and not the movie, the ship. Um, yeah. What about, uh, who's, uh, there's a girl in Providence. Who knows somebody who's all about Jacob? 
There was a girl in Providence called Girl she, Jacob. But she's married, and she said, keep looking, because yeah. there's girls like me. But there was another mm-hmm. girl that said, uh, totally into Jacob. Oh, yeah, into Jacob, into the Titanic. Into Titanic, into Jacob. Mm-hmm. Cute so, chick, man. Looks like mm-hmm. she's into yeah. sinking. Real cute chick. I think she can carry you, but she is cute. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm I, just kidding. She's, I, I, she's I don't tall. have an enemy to go to Sex Island. No, oh, they're doing that again. Sex Island? Sex Island. Didn't they say they're getting a lineup? We got to send you on one of these trips, man. Jacob, what's the point of getting the juice? You know? Lou and I banged around Europe all summer, yeah. right? Yeah. We're foreskin buds. Lou is cleaning up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lou's banging hookers. I'm going to the sky to shake hands with God via mushrooms. Oh, Sex Island is back? Yeah, dude. Play the trailer. Where is it? Oh, isn't it, aren't they going to like send you coordinates to where it's at or something? to the 17th of December. Are you ready? Yeah! Look at all the hot ass! Didn't it get canceled last time? Dude, crazy fantasies. It got canceled last time, right? Jay, shut up, dude. Hot girls. (laughs) All inclusive. Oh, luxury lifestyle. I think you know naked activities. Yeah. I don't like being being naked in front of people at all. I certainly don't want to do activities naked. (laughs) The activities naked is my big, I just found out is my bigger fear. If someone goes, what's your biggest fear? I go, being naked in front of a bunch of people. SexIsland.com. Naked activities in front of a bunch of people is actually my biggest fear. You wouldn't also hate the dildos you're going to be walking around, like the guys that are going to be there. Oh my God. You saw the guy in this video. Yeah, they're they're just all 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 jacked. What are you doing? Trying to marry him, Jacob? Just fuck him, dude. He goes, what's up, bro? I noticed you've been checking out my chest. I just want to know what you do on your off days. Is that HGH or something? Are you, what are you using Why you to find heal? out? You could probably get some leftover Diana ball out of my dick hole. He goes, dude, I kind of like the fact that you know the important part's the healing part. Yeah, you want to go, uh, <laughs> you want me to give you a protein dose? He goes, I could take you down by the shore. We could make it real romantic-like. Yeah. yeah, the event, here's the information on the website on sexisland.co. It's on our private island. Enjoy the company of 100 beautiful Latin girls. That's specific. Uh, they're slaves. Two hot DJs. On lease from an oil baron. Uh, spinning the most exciting music all day and night. A drug-friendly environment. Yeah. All the girls will be there to please you and make you feel like a king. If you have any specific fantasies, just let the host or the girls know, and we'll be sure to make them a reality. Jacob, what's what would the thing? You send something weird, dude. Dude, you can make you can make so them. You, like you want to train like you want girls to dress like horses with butt plugs in, yeah. and you want to train them. You want to break them. You want to be a horse whisperer. Yes. Yeah, you know, this one right here I found on the plains. I think she's a Spanish Mustang, but I can break her. Look. And it's all Latina girls. So if you want to like really uh, you want to demean them, you can make them dress like donkeys or something no. too. El Burro. El Burro. They say El that burro. is unlimited sex with two girls per day. Yeah. Come on, Switching dude. girls with other guests is permitted. Yes. All meals. Oh, you could trade chicks? Oh, dude, it's like pogs. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. I don't like mine. <laughs> you can trade it. I want a purple one. <laughs> yeah, I can take this. I got a busty, a busty Colombian slut uh-huh. for a big booty Guatemala whore. Any open sores? Yeah, no. All disease free. All goes, the alcohol you desire. One track mark, but she does say that she gave blood this week. Mm-hmm. Airport pickup and drop off. Yacht parties. I think you can get picked up in like a goddamn Jeep with Dude. a guy who one guy's holding a like a he, gun. And he goes, like, How you doing, brother? My name's <laughs> Mac. I am your point man. <laughs> Now, this is basically Jurassic... I am your attache. He goes, this is basically Jurassic Park with pussy. <laughs> Three days after the electricity's gone out. And our T-Rex is a heavy Puerto Rican woman that is hungry and angry. And they get the little ones at the spitter, the squirter that shoots an acid at you. You go, who are you? She goes, hola, hola, hola. <laughs> Hundred Latin, aye, aye. a hundred Latin girls. That's very specific. I go. I want a Polak, or I ain't showing up to your <laughs> island. Oh, maybe that's what the fantasy says. He goes. I've already killed a Latina girl. Can you? <laughs> get me? I mean, it does. Every look. Back. I look. The sales pitch is great, but. This is great. I've already murdered a Latina girl. Bed- I was bedrooms with showers. A, maybe an Oriental. <laughs> Say it even shitty. Yeah. Do you have Oriental girls? Uh, we no call them that. Here. He goes. Do you have a? Do you have a a, a Russian Asian? <laughs> There's a lot of those. There's Kazakhstan. There's, no, 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 yeah, one of those blended up ones. Bedrooms with showers. That's big. 
I think that's real big that they're leading with that because it lets you know you can wash off the Better smut. showers. Brillo pads. <laughs> Ajax. <laughs> they go, uh, you remember Outbreak? Those suits. <laughs> Boric acid. A delousing station. <laughs> a delousing. <laughs> an eye spray station. <laughs> we don't know where you're going to put your face, and it's none of our business. You pay the money. We put you there. It goes, a Neosporin pool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Check out our sponsored Neosporin water slide. It's all Neosporin. Go down naked. It with your holes open, uh, Wi Fi open wide, and take a ride down the Neosporin slide. Check this out. When I get to the bottom, I go back. Wi Fi and unlimited condoms. They should put in parentheses for the dorks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, just, or next, to, or just next to next to the period, just put the uh, the parentheses with a question mark in it. <laughs> Because Wi Fi unlimited condoms? <laughs> Do you want to hear that? I don't know. Or if he goes unlimited con dot 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 con yeah. dot dot dot, he goes, I can't say it with a straight face. Dude, I can't imagine how many fucking cell phone salesmen are going to be at this thing. Like dudes that sell cell phones at Verizon stores. Oh, yeah. This is what it is. Yeah. Guys with souped out cars being like, yo, dude, I'm going to Sex Island. Yo, hold on, I'm going to sell this idiot a fucking iPhone and yeah. it's a guy like uh, me like hey, my phone doesn't turn on anymore and I give my money to Verizon no you know what he's going with a sim card man yeah I go oh cool thanks man I'm going to there's a hundred of that girls available You at any moment you can switch Jacob, girls you won't go dude other, dude come <laughs> on why not there's a luxury yacht and incredible sexual surprises unlimited fucking two hot Latinas a day Dude, Jacob. A minute, can, by the way, some of them... call them the pin crew. Oh, God. Some of them only have two kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some of them oh, didn't God. have to fight their way out of a fucking oh, carrier. <laughs> What's those called? The- and if you fuck... Uh, go for Ecuadorian chicks, because they... Uh, Why do you want me to they go produce small, They produce go. smaller people. What? What's that? You would never go to Sex Island. Me? How do you not know I haven't been there? Dude, I'm the mayor of Sex Island. Do you believe Island. I wouldn't go? Do you believe that? <laughs> I think you wouldn't go. I, w- I would absolutely go. Sure Dude, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna wax up. I'm gonna get some Rosetta Stone going, and I'll see you at an unmarked location, December thirteenth to the seventeenth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll get your coordinates. Thank God you have a map. Yeah, I'll drop it. I drop in on a shoot, dude. Because you have nautical maps at home, so you can help us get there. Just you'll see me come on the island. They go, call me Here Magellan because I'm ambassador. To- I'm about to journey into some gash. <laughs> yeah. Dude, look at all this fun. Look, you can play sexy, fun tennis. I think it's you the same girl that keeps showing the, ten- the, the girl with the tattoo on her tits. Look at that fat butt one with the blonde hair, huh? Yeah. Look at that, Jacob. Oh, you man, get lost is... in that. You could toothpick her butt. I know we're, we're, we're revisiting this since they're doing this this year, but this is one of those places where you come and you immediately regret the decision. Dude. You're like, no. fuck, dude, I'm here for three days. You could golf and shit. <laughs> I bet there's, yeah. How about if there's diving? <gasps> Shipwreck diving. It's not listed. I'm sure, they would have listed that. What do you tell me? It's part of your fantasy. <laughs> I want to dive, and then when I come up, you know, blah blah blah, Latina girls, blah Jay, blah blah. Yeah. Why don't we get hired? We can be safety and privacy is their priority, so we have a full staff of security guards. Man, being a security guard on a fuck island, you got to break up some really raunchy shit. Christine, could you email them and see if the hosts of uh, Comedy Central Radio's bonfire could be hired as security for Sex Island. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, yeah. Can I'll you do even... that while we're on the air, please? I want to proofread it. I, I want to... Oh, dude, look at that. You get to eat stuff off naked women that definitely aren't prostitutes. <laughs> wow. Is that a good idea to say... By the way, it says how it work. How it... No, it doesn't. Go down. How it work. That's, that's not... That's so That's great. not a good way to go. <laughs> it's just typed out. He goes... <laughs> Jay, it's just typed out, stubs out cigarette. How it work. And number one, you cool? You a cop? <laughs> <laughs> How it work. You know you got to tell me, right? If you don't say it's entrapment, that's, that's, you know that, right? You can't entrap me, so you got to tell me. So you got to tell me. Are you a cop? You undercover? <laughs> okay, I, cool. Listen, you seem cool, but can I just can I pat you down for a while? Right, I'm just being cool. I'm going to be cool. I just need to be cool, so you, you got to be cool. You're just being a little darty-eyed. I just want to yeah. know what hey, it is. Hey, look at me right Six in the face. Six grand? Six grand. That's it. It's an episode of Billions, dog. I mean, come on, dude. What do you want? That's a fucking... Give up that's, my... a, that's a 200 inch Vizio TV. Uh, dude, that's two Mitsubishis. It's two Mitsubishi TVs. Clips, an Eclipse or two TVs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could get a used 98 
uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse. Six K under six K. You can get probably a two for six K. Absolutely. Look at that Jacob. wet butt, Jacob. Look at, those Look at all those wet butts. I like they left the stretch marks on the one. It's real. Uh, oh, it's real, girl bro. with fucking wings. white trash angel wings on her back. <laughs> Jacob, come on. Do oh, you know? do, I, do I see the hint of a barbed wire tattoo? Go, Go back. back. Go how, back. And one. also, how do you not know that girl's not a real angel? That's unfair. Yeah, you, that's true. All right, that's fair enough, Dan. Thank you. Dude, by the way, they're giving away a free trip. Imagine that guy. <laughs> it's like, you are going to Sex Island! He's like, ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Lettuce live broadcast from the secret location. I'm here on Sex Island. Things have gone wrong. He goes, hey, it's Jay. We are broadcasting live from uh, 25 knots east of... Longitude 42. <laughs> Latitude. Hey, you're listening from 57 West, 78 <laughs> degrees <Yeah>. north. <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> we are technically in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> These whores are scared. Uh, they said the journey. It is a lawless society out here. The buffet has, turned into has a- been lovely. The onboard entertainment, top notch. If when I have wa- any complaints, it's my cell services for shit out of here. <laughs> Day two, we lost water. Things got real dicey. <laughs> Dude, Sex Island getting cut off from clean water. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> How murky. How it work. Oh, my God. Buy your event. Remember ticket. the one? The, remember the Carnival Cruise Line that got fucked up? And they were like, this, this shit was just going through the hallways. <laughs> yeah. Just bigger shit and just condom, like a used condoms. Just... <laughs> Just old oh, scumbags all rolling the, down the thing. Oh man, dude, the fucking then a sewage problem. On How much, Island? dude? Just a mug, just a mug cup of it from the hallway. How much, Dan? To drink it? A mug cup, five million. Five million? Fuck you! I'm not drinking shit and cum for less than five million. You better hope to God I never. I'm gonna get buy five a million. ranch. You better hope to God I never have five million expendable dollars. You better hope you don't get four point nine because I'll do it for that. <laughs> you will negotiate. I'm a, I'm a reckless son of a bitch. Let me put Stern on the phone. What do you want to do? We'll walk away from this with everyone happy jacob i want you to believe in this christine type up this uh this email and let's take our second break and then uh let's yeah. see if we, information we get final we're not on. around but we'd love to chat another time this uh, better not happen on sex island yeah really hey where's my two girls and he goes it's eleven fifty-eight. this is uh janice and tori have fun and he goes oh, but i've been looking for them all day he goes it's still in the calendar day man dude i'm sorry man read <laughs> There's just like a buzzer <laughs> at the end. Switch girls. Is that the conch shell of change? I go, I go hi. <laughs> 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 Is that, a, goes, is that a purge? What's happening? You just grab your girl and break her neck. Goes, I'm sorry, I thought that was the purge alarm. Is that the switch? Oh, man. Is that the switcheroo? You know, sorry. I went to a similar island uh, in Asia last year where we it's killed a purge them. island. It's battle royale type thing. And oh, then, uh, yeah, have you ever gone to the wrong different summer camps? Goes, it's like that. He goes, I got to get uh, these theme resorts, man. They're pretty immersive. <laughs> and that last one just left me a little trigger happy. I wish I would have known about the alarm. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for that, and I'll just do the one girl a day for the next couple. Do you? Uh, you know what? I'll take this. This one's on me. <laughs> so why don't you just give me? I don't one want girl? any money back, but I'll just I'll fuck <laughs> one girl nonstop. Today. Dude, or the sex island gets attacked by an army of Me Too supporters. <laughs> it just gets like the Normandy, just like boats or what? Like shh, yes. those women. Yeah. So that's cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little rattled. I'm sure nothing the mojito can't fix, right? But you know. Oh, anyway, dude. you want to? Should we bark- chop her up? Does she have family? <laughs> How did you guys? What's the return policy on this? <laughs> <laughs> Do we throw her out to the ocean, ocean for the sharks? Um, can I say before we take our break here? Yeah, that they're doing the Ricky Gervais live in New York city sweepstakes how about that huh it's pretty badass he's doing a, a special performance the lineup Ricky Gervais and Friends the, and by the way the Friends we know the lineup it's fucking nuts yeah what we we uh, we read it last week it's you know, Bennington and Jim Norton yeah 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 that's a really great it's show a fucking great lineup Ricky Gervais Bennington and Jim Norton Ricky Gervais and Friends uh, one grand prize winner is going to receive a trip for two uh, to New York, including round trip airfare, hotel accommodations, and two tickets to this exclusive show at the K Playhouse at Hunter College on November 8th. So it's coming up. For official rules and to enter, go to SiriusXM.com slash Ricky Gervais. That's R I C K Y G E R V A I S before October 31st. There's no additional purchase necessary, but uh, again, Ricky Gervais, 
um, or SiriusXM.com slash Ricky Gervais before October 31st. And uh, we'll be right back, everyone. Damn right, we'll be. It's a bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Raunchy ass. <laughs> they were the best. Yeah. Two live crew. My favorite uh, is me so horny is when he goes, uh, I know he'll be disgusted when he sees your pussy busted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a lyrical genius. Won't your mama be so mad if she knew I got that ass? It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Ogerson. Joining us on the phone, friend and creator of Billions, Brian Koppelman. Hey, dude. Yo, Jen. How are you, dude? Brian, what's up, buddy? I'm great. Hey, Jay. I'm driving home from set. Dan, co-creator with David Levine. I'm driving home from set. And Mike, who's the Teamster driver on the show, has your show, The Bonfire, on, right? Hell yeah. I'm, I'm loving. I'm like, look at this. Two of my favorite dudes. I'm listening. I'm laughing. But Soder, dude, five million bucks, you're saying you would tr- say it again. What would you do for five million bucks? If Jay takes a, uh, a gas station mug uh-huh. and scoops out the sewage from a carnival, cr- from a sex island remember, cruise line. Remember when Carnival Cruise Lines yeah. went down? Yes. And their septic oh, tank yeah. went and back? And the septic tank this was all uh-huh. flowed through the thing. Now let's add to that, it's the sex island cruise ship, so there's also <laughs> just like, just uh-huh. murky jizz bags floating <laughs> yeah, in just So like the mop boy from Show World just like swept all that stuff into the... Mo- yes. 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 There's only, it. here's the thing, let me explain to you what the price, and then I heard you say you get your manager to, to like, let, me just, let me just make this really clear. You either do that for free, like Gigi Allen, and you become a legend forever. Okay. Or you do it for an amount of money that will make your kids, kids, kids rich for life. Oh, man. There's this no is in what... between. Dude, it's free or it's $200 million. You're right. It's... You'll never work again. It's, it's biting the, it's, it's, that's the drinking equivalent of biting a head off a bat. Yeah. We're like this. They go. Dan Soder's <laughs> fucking nuts in the head. I'll he drank it. a cup full of water balloon sh- piss cum shit. I don't know. I mean, I mean like it sounds like I mean, sounds like a middle bit on a jackass. You know episode. What, you know, yeah. Also, uh, Koppelman. You know what the thing is? Is I really took the Colorado farmer amount of dollars, where like a simple yeah. man's amount of money. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say. I'll update Five all my million. equipment. <laughs> Two and a half million after taxes, and you're here's the thing: you're so cheap, you would think of it as an annuity. So you'd be taking three percent off the two five for the rest of your life. Oh yeah, well, never touch the principal because you're uh, fucking the cheapest human being I know. God Brian, right. you're so Brian, you're so you're so white. You think he should have to pay taxes on his drinking shit and jizz water money? <laughs> yeah, I, I love how by the book you are, man. Listen, Dan, you do it free, you become a legend for the rest of your life. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Three or hundreds of millions. <laughs> or, or I take the cool five and have the IRS show up when this goes public. <laughs> Fucking DD Soder. Yeah. They, they take half of it. Uh, yeah, Gigi Allen. Oh, and dude. That's all. They, that they, come to inter- they just come to interview me in my fucking Hollywood apartment that's just filled with Korean war memorabilia <laughs> when I'm like 78. And I'm like, I'm like, Lemmy. I'm like, yeah, I'm still doing shows. Sometimes they throw the shit cocktail at me. Just part of the gig, you know? <laughs> Listen, I love you two guys so much. It's so fun listening to the show. But seriously, Dan. Yeah. I, I mean, thank I, you. I, I want you to understand, my opinion of you is, I think, changed forever. Oh, no. I go to, by the way, I see. I come back in after filming the next episode. I go, Jay, dude, Koppelman wouldn't look me in the eyes. And neither would Levine. And it's just fucking weird now. And I just feel like it's really affecting my character work. Brian, I'll be honest with you. You should take an office pool and really get up $5 million and hold them to it. <laughs> Paul and Damien come in and they're I like, swear to I want to see him. If I it. ever have $5 million extraneous dollars, I don't foresee it happening. But if it happens, it's the first thing I'll spend my money on. That's going to be an that, odd. And I'm going to make Lewis uh, fuck a man. Lewis Higgum is going <laughs> to fuck a man on live TV for $1 million, I think he said. Oh, but Jay, no, no. On the flip side, you're right. You're getting a great price. Like, if you can get up the extra $5 million bucks, totally worth it. Oh, this is, a, yeah, this is a that's seller's market. Know, that's how you know Dan set a bad price, because, like, you could see a group of people getting it together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's, this, there's, there's some small equity groups getting together to kick around some venture capital. I mean, just, <laughs> just some names to knock around. You got the Schumers, the Pete Davis, yeah. and the Chase. He, come, he around. comes in, he's like, I'll do it for, like, I got 2 5 on it. I'll throw in, I'll throw in a little bit. <laughs> you know, I'll, How am I for soda to eat jizz and shit water? Uh, I heard, oh my God, Michelle Wolf's here. I heard you guys said you would do it for five. <laughs> I'm good for 300K. 
I can put three K. I can put three hundred K on it. <laughs> They're a hedge fund guy, so if they knew him with me. Was gonna oh, dude, there's some that. dark... There's Spread some, the word. There's some dark web shit going on right now. Hang on. Yell, right, let me it. yell it out the window at this asshole factory we work in. <laughs> there you go. Get the turn to throw it in. Howard. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Love you, dude. Love you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Coppola, everybody. Man, see, that's why you need good people like that in your life to tell you that you're worth more. That was the, (laughs) that was just, (laughs) that was like a long, elongated, like, Dan, you know what? Why don't you let your agency handle your drinking shit and Yes, you're not. (laughs) That that was his, that was our uh, it's not your fault moment from Goodwill Hunting. Not you, Brian. No, not you. Not you. Fucking not you. Not fucking you. Zachary Soto uh, tweeting at a Sex Island fire with two people in a pretzel suit and a watermelon suit. Fucking yeah. Hell yeah. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. Um, the gay one. Oh, man. There was that one gay documentary that was on Netflix that, boy, oh, boy, it showed so much. <laughs> it showed a lot of gay sex? Just a guy's at a club, and like one guy's dick is just out, and then like a stranger just walks up and like points it. He's like, "Can I?" Am I? And he just starts like sucking dick, like in clubs. Like it just uh, seems like like what, like it one seems of those awesome. Like one of those you're into. Yeah, man. Like one of those frozen yogurt places where you just get to put all the different ones you want on it. Yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's why they have to make though like a sex island thing for guys. Yeah, because we're all because guys that want women because there's just no. There's more sharing in the gay world as far as sex goes, where they go, do you want a little bit of this sex? Like, oh, can I? It's like, yeah, dude, I love Jacob. Always just starts moving when the fucking, when Sylvester hits. Jake, you thought about figuring out if maybe you like dick? Fucking... <laughs> you go, I just love this song. Oh, no, me too. Well, Listen, I, was gonna... I love the song. I'm just saying. But he is right. You have a snake out of the basket movement every time this plays. Dude, if I don't dance, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, it's totally true. It's true. But you're right, man. It's like, uh, it's like a gay... Like, the gay sex island's just Fire Island. It's just like a bunch of guys being like, this is fun. Let's have drinks and fuck. Yeah, it's Fire Island or like, you know... Like La yeah, I mean, with some I'm trying to think of the name of a, some shitty club or something. Lavo on yeah. a fucking on a Tuesday. Just like a free for all fuck fest. Yeah. It's so great. But guys, straight men, it becomes like a thing of There's nowhere you could do that and everything be okay. No thing would be okay. We're just animals. We'd be like, You touched my lady Yeah, in a gay That's club you just like, put a finger on a button, look at the guy like with your eyebrows raised, like is this, is this, is this your thing? And he goes he goes, No, I'm a I'm a power top and it's like oh bloom. He goes, just pull it out I'm and then a, go. And there's a fucking there's a there's a salt uh, a salt water rinse every couple of feet. Goes, I've I, never been I've never been in one. Goes, I'm assuming they that have the wash off stations like in, <laughs> like when you're in chemistry in high school. <laughs> you, have to, you have to return. You have to drop your goggles in a bin on the way out. Yeah, they, they really do. In your like, apron. And he goes, G- are you into are you into finger digital butt play? And he goes, I'm actually a passive aggressive otter, which means I will swim, but I'll also suck dick in public. Like, like, all right, so stand over there. Awesome, great girlfriend. See you later. And then straight men, you're like, oh yeah, you're a slut and you love it. You look at her, I'll kill you all. <laughs> Those are the guys that are going on there. The amount of dudes on steroids that'll probably be on that island on Fuck Island. I actually think I disagree i'd be blown away if there's really great looking really wonderfully in shape guys on this thing. no i mean i bet there's some real born, there are there's gonna a be, lot of but there's gonna tires. be like a fucking fat guy wearing like an old like happy days t-shirt with like a nintendo power glove on still like i'm telling you it's Ooh. gonna be like bad stuff oh you mean the guy getting the most pussy yeah 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 <laughs> for sure you mean the guy that they break all the rules for and they yeah. go you get six a day dude a lot of fucking uh a lot of benzoyl peroxide being packed think, for the what, acne. A lot of adult acne. What do you think the amount of dudes falling in love with some of the girls is? What do you think the 90 Day Fiance rate is on this one of these fuck, well, fuck islands? Lou, you watch 90 Day Fiance. Ma- Who would you say like on a my, fuck island like this? If my math is correct, I'd yeah. say twice a day you will fall in love <laughs> with uh, yeah. with whatever random Latina you get. To th- I hope they're just like, uh, it'd be great if they're just like shitty Latina chicks. Just constant complaining about things. Like, oh, what, like your ex mother? I don't know. Uh, goes, That's not a good job for you to have at your age. Yeah, he goes. Uh, so, anyways, I was wondering um, if we both dress up like pirates and we just fuck outside. And she goes, "You, you don't know, no, no close to your mother." <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's like a complicated thing. I just wanted to fucking drill you in the butt. Hey, what's up with those whores on Sex Island, huh? 
They come out, they cost so many pesos, right? I fall in love those times a day, and they don't love me back, but maybe that's just Pancho Mike's experiences, hey! Pancho Mike? Comedy Central does not condone Pancho Mike. Baby, I pay for two as many times as I want. How about I get one and do it 2,000 times? Tell her pussy is in fuego, eh? That's been Pancho Mike's experience. Eh? Do you think there's a, uh, do you think there's a trainer, like a nerd, like a station where the girls can come get wrapped up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How you doing? She goes. I need a tub. I need a cold tub. My yeah, legs are packing, locking up. Just packing herself with ice. Because there is a guy from Wisconsin that lives on a farm that is doing some legit damage on the island. <laughs> he is sweeping through these women, just blasting them. They're, they're sleeping on ice like dead fish. Yeah, they go. <gasps> they're not being fucked. Oh, is this they're just uh, numbing up inside the controversial sex island trip, making a comeback? Um, much information. It just says it's unlimited sex with prostitutes. A drug fueled orgy vacation. That sounds great. Dude, TV's in the back of the fucking. Uh, Wait, is it a private plane? Play this. Play this trailer. Can I, Sabrina? Sorry, that's Sabrina. I was trying to find the documentary. You started watching Whoa. Sabrina. What happened? We're blacked out, dude. Great. What do we do? I'm so drunk on cheese. We By the way, bro- who is the keeper? Did we, bro- we start broadcasting Sabrina? The new chilling adventures of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Hey, who was the camper that sent in the cheese today for our wine and cheese day? Kristen. Kristen, Kristen thank you. It was awesome. I believe from Florida. From Florida? Kristen. Where do we see Kristen? No, I'm I was outside the VU, but I think she's from Florida. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She is. And she or brought... Outside the cellar. No, it wasn't from Florida. I thought it was somewhere more cheese... Fantastic! Oh, we're talking middle of the country now. I think we're going dairy. No, because she got it here. A dairy region. She oh, she bought, bought it here. here. Yeah. Oh, yes. Maybe she is from Florida, but she was. Can I lovely, just tell you, a lovely young lady, and she, uh, yeah, she gave it to us outside the VU. Right? What a love! Now. What a lovely day of just delicious cheeses. We had chilling for a while, the jam. and then we brought it up. The jam. Who brought the jam? Because it That's is part uh, of the part of the thing. Yeah, it was all from her. Some could say it is the jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that jam over there. Jam? Life. You ever had jam with? Cheese? Are we Louis, fixed? Lou, is he your spirit animal? I still don't have it. No, he's a What jerk happened? Off. No, he's a jerk off and I hope he dies. Who? That guy that yelled, that says, you ever seen Pearl Jam live? Is this the Sex Island trailer? Oh, you kid. There's a state of inebriation uh, DJ Lou can hit where he'd be high-fiving that guy, hugging him too much. Oh, singing fucking. I know what you mean, man. These fucking cops. Yeah. Hell None yeah. of these guys. Nobody with that fucking asshole haircut would see the jam. You a McCready guy? <laughs> hell yeah. I'm all about McCready. I've been a ment since day one. Yeah. Dude, uh, real quick. Follow the first amendment. Joe List it's got Amen. T- Amen. Jeff Amen. Joe List got another Pearl Jam fan. Joe List got to go to Game Five of the World Series last night. Watch Boston clinch over the Dodgers. That's pretty cool. I always think that's awesome, man. Like I got to go to I was being watch- at an away game that was weird. Yeah, but I, I think it's just being cool. It's cool being able to go to a, the only championship game I've ever gone to was Game Six of the NBA Finals Warriors uh, Cavs when LeBron won it. In Cleveland. Yeah, but like, don't go to like a Philadelphia championship game in that town, ta- you know, in no. Philadelphia. Yeah, where, if you're like, the, the opposing like, team, yeah. That'd be ridiculous. Or I wouldn't even go to the game, quite honestly. But it will happen, I'm sure. But Joe, that's what I'm saying. Like, his, yeah. him going to that is a. Uh, so this balls, is. Uh, I'd say. So this is the trailer for Sex Island, which means they had to film this dude. So this dude is. Oh, look, little cup holders. What airline is this? Looks decent. Yeah, what fucking airline is this? Do they have Iowa. Do they have Iowa face units in the back of every. Yeah, I love it. Sex Island. Home. You have to get your own flight. Yeah. To where? I think you get the location. Once That's you fucking find awesome. It. <laughs> airport pickup though, and drop off somewhere. Somewhere. Pick up from the airport, dropped off to something. Hey, look who's here, guys! There's no way that they are always. They're just always dancing. They're like, if we stop dancing, we get thrown overboard. Dude, these it's girls, these girls are fucking ky jellying their snatches already now to have to get ready for. They think it's going to be this guy showing up. Yeah, this underwear model is going to show up. Sixty girls, thirty guests. Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, you come once and you're like, I gotta get out of here. Get off Sex Island. Give me Snake Plissken. I need out of Sex Island. Do you know why I can't do it? Why what I will never get past is that by the whatever day you're getting your... The second day. 
when you're getting your second two girls. Yeah. I'm like, they've already oh, fucked we're somebody we're, else. I'm mean, just like, the, <laughs> now, they are definitely fucking me where it's like, before they came in, they were like, here we go. You know, this fucking guy sweat on my do you think fucking gave, back for a minute. Do you think they did the Jules and Vince thing where they go, you ready to get in the character? And you're like, yeah. <sighs> I also think they're probably banking on, if there's reality to this, mm-hmm. what they're banking on these girls is that the guys are going to just be like fucked out after like the first day. I mean, how yeah. much can you really possibly go? You want to Or you might have on- to like take it like once from each, from... As a girl, you may only have to fuck dead. three times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You get the right guy. You, you, you can get... only fu- No, I'm saying total. Oh, yeah. All How many the... times are you going to fuck, you know what I mean? Like, fuck the same girl. If you, pop, just... if you pop your cork and just unload six on the first girl, yeah. the second girl's getting uh, a half-assed, if nothing. Well, you're talking... And the next day, you might even be burnt out. Yes, but Man. you're talking rational cum math. <laughs> that's the old... That's the well, old... it does show, by the way, there's a thousand... Other, there's golf... It's cum theorem. There's uh, a... What you're talking about... uh, You can get on a wakeboard. Yeah. You can maybe even... I don't know, dude. If there was horse riding, I'd be real down. You know I love equestrians. Let's just do it. Let's treat ourselves. It's too much. It's not the actual act of fucking. It's the sex energy that is just too present where you're like, I don't want to be in that speed for three days. Like... Oh, three straight... 72 hours of EDM music? Just that light... (laughs) I'll take. I'll pick you today. Why, why can't? Why can't you go? You. I, also, is there a quiet place on the island I can read? I, just, <laughs> I also came here to kind of unwind, and uh, I got a new James Patterson book that I'm really looking into getting into. Because uh, because of unsweetened iced tea. Party never stop. Oh my king! Yeah, no, I don't. God damn, I'm really against the whole monarchy system. I just... A uh, hooker like once uh, told me the party never stopped. It does if you kill her. Elite has been Pancho Mike's experiences. Comedy Central does not approve of Pancho Mike. I think so. He's that. <laughs> Pancho Mike is not a licensed trademark of Comedy Central. <laughs> or Viacom Network. <laughs> LLC. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, and all of its affiliates. <laughs> I would definitely be um, fucked out of Sex Island by day two. Yeah. I'd just be like, I don't want to be here anymore. I'd break the first two off. First oh, day, I'm coming in real hot. And the quick. first one actually only gets like a, a like a little appetizer level, and then I go hard on the second one. Second one, I would probably say the first one is going to get a real quick pop because I'm all goosed up from the traveling. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, oh man, oh yeah. what? She's the calamari rings. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Man. She's the outside fork. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But dude, day four, that's a lot this girl is gonna be There goes. Then you fucking sh- then you go to dinner, the- have some sorbet, clean I'll, your palate. I'll tell you this, uh, the girl that I get on day three is if her English is good, it's gonna be just all conversation. This yeah. by day three I'm like, So what made you leave? <laughs> he goes He goes She goes, I is Maria you go. Uh, English, you go, oh, poquito. You go, hey, hey. She goes, six. You're like, no. I was wondering, do you play gin rummy? <laughs> gin rummy. I just, I'm done. I'm dry. El dryo. El, el, el sore. Outro. Owie. Ow. <laughs> Owie. Step, step on your penis. No, <laughs> no. You're out. It's just one. Just throws a kick at your dick. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No, no, no! Oh, where did you get that? Bag? Someone, I don't speak Spanish. Someone, please translate. No! Oh! How do you say no in Spanish? Just light EDM the whole thing. You go. Are these uh, are these just egg whites or regular eggs? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to be sexual the whole time. Any like, more mimosas? No. Okay. Mimosas! Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to report to the fuck dog pile <laughs> in the South Lawn starting at 3 o'clock. We also got Coke and Twister, Naked Twister upstairs. Somebody want to claim a light blue cock ring found in Hot Tub 3. <laughs> hot Tub 3 light blue cock ring. Gentlemen, a reminder that if you're going to come in the pool, please make sure you hit one of the girls. <laughs> Hope you're having fun. Oh, dude, another, oh, just so much EDM. It'd be the worst. <laughs> you should be fucking 
Just so you know, the glow sticks are unfuckable. That fluid will cause a problem. Please keep all glow sticks out of your orifices. Other than Joy Sex Island, everybody, <laughs> 2018. Yeah, here you go. McClure, table of four <laughs> for the KY Hot Tub is now open. Here's a report to the lobby. Just yeah. a reminder to the girls out there, there is a vagina wash on the deck level. A vagina wash on the deck level. A clean vagina is a happy vagina. Lobster day <laughs> in the dining hall. Tonight at also, dinner with the captain, we'll be having a nice little entertainment from our Filipino crew doing a traditional dance number. Comedy. From their land. Comedy in the show room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, got booked, we got booked on Sex Island. Steve Marshall uh, doing a 5 p.m. show. Uh, uh, Feel free to bring the kids. America's foremost clean comic. 5 p.m. clean, 7 p.m. dirty. <laughs> Sex Island. I go, yeah. Dude, how great would that be? We're like, dance. Ice Cream Social in the. Yeah, you go, dude. Uh, and don't forget, you can see Dan Soder at Sex Island, November 16th. <laughs> <laughs> doing two shows in the atrium. That's 7 p.m. on Friday, 8 30 and 10 Saturday. Uh, but, I mean, we should use this moment to actually do real plugs. Big J, dude, it's tonight. On Netflix, yeah, buddy. Set your alarm at new uh, twelve at noon at midnight on the West Coast. It comes out so three a.m. Eastern. Big J's Netflix special coming out. The Degenerates. Already seen some trailers. Looks fucking great. The I've seen a little bit of it. It's awesome. I can't wait. I'm gonna stay up. Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz. Dominica Saunders. Brad L- Williams. Lisa, Lisa Trigger. Tri- yeah, I mean Christina it, P. Gonna be great. So uh, check it out. Yeah, it's gonna excited. be. I mean, it's it's gonna be pretty awesome. And you go to the home page of Netflix. And it's fucking bam right there. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, it's gonna be badass. So make sure you check it out. That's tonight. Or if you're listening to this, you know, later, it's came out Tuesday. It was it was yeah, Tuesday thirty. It was the other day. It was the other day. It was the other day. And then this weekend, <laughs> Minneapolis, Minnesota. House of Comedy. November first through the third. Then he's gonna be at uh, Big J's gonna be at Bananas in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey, November 9th and tenth. Go get tickets at BigJcomedy.com. But most importantly, Make sure you watch The Degenerates on Netflix. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm tonight. also coming home to Philly pretty soon. Fuck yeah. Helium, Helium Philly. Philly. Go get November those tickets. November 15th to the 17th. Go get those tickets. And then when you come back, you can bring some Wawa for your friend Dan Soder because you're coming to Jacob's NASCAR party. That's a good place to bring those Sammies. Ooh, that's a good place to bring Sammies. Um, look at Jacob. Got so upset. Sandwiches. We'll also have your delicious pastries, Jacob. Dude, I'll knock the dick off some pastries. Can you do that coffee uh, crumble cake? Yes, dude. There's a rumor about Dan Soder Oh, it that ain't no rumor, dude. It's the motherfucking truth. There's a rumor that Dan's going to get pegged in Canada. That's not funny. Oh, not Dan Soder's going to be at Rumors in Winnipeg, Canada. <laughs> yeah. Rumors in Winnipeg, Canada. That's November 15th to the 17th. Gator coming back uh, to Winnipeg. <laughs> after that, he's going to be at Laugh Boston, Baston. November 29th through December 1st. Come the fuck out. Red Sox won. Fuck it. Right. Let's fill it up Time for Danny Sodes. You have Come to show on. for Danny Sodes. He brings championships to towns, Dude, buddy. Dude, Cleveland. We're there for Cleveland, yeah. Boston a couple weeks after they did it. Philly, you were my you were my ra- my lucky rabbit's foot. Yeah, goddamn right. Because when I was, thought I was alone during that game, I looked over. And you were there. It was me. It was me in my Wawa sweatshirt. DanSoder.com. For all his tour dates, uh, also make sure you check out our videos right now on yeah. cc.com slash bonfire YouTube. What is it? It's YouTube.com. Uh, no. It's, no, it's... On <laughs> cc.com yeah. slash bonfire YouTube. Yes. That's a uh, they film us here in the studios now, and the videos, it's, it, it is a different experience watching it, which is really cool. It's so funny, man, because it's like, it's been pitched, and Jeremy's in the room. Jeremy's a huge believer of the show. He's been, yeah. he's had our back since fucking day one. The show would not Hell be yeah. what it is without a couple people at Comedy Central, and Jeremy is one of them. We were saying that it should be a Howard TV like thing. Just do full thirty minute episodes of the whole week, but you know, get that licensing for the drops. Who do we have to send the Sex Island on that fucking staff over there? He Jeremy? goes, oh, send a Sex Island. Sex Island. We own Sex Island. <laughs> yeah, it's owned by Viacom. Sex Island. We own it. Listen, it was a thing for Travel Channel. Then it went under. So Where do you think it. Carson Daly's been? <laughs> I, uh, He's the host, celebrity host. Yeah. It's Carson Daly. I like and comedy the people from like the it's like yeah. comedy people you saw when it first came out. Like, where's Wally Collins? Sex Island. He goes. Uh, you want to know where Chris? What was his name? Oh God damn it! Uh, Chris. He became Chris Collins. Chris Collinsworth is a fucking sports guy. Who was the MTV News? 
Chris. Oh, I should have said Connolly. Chris, Chris Connolly. Thank you. I should have said fucking Kurt Loader, and we could have gone to commercial. But I'm a fucking idiot that will be paid five million dollars to eat a mug of which I won't. I would have done. I would have said Tabitha Soren. Oh. But I'm not a misogynist, dude. But I'm not judging you for being whatever you are. It's well, totally fine. Actually, bro, it's Sex Island, so the thing would be <laughs> to make the women more powerful and Kurt Loader be their sex slave. But next time you try to take us. A stab at being woke. Know that I've been awake for five days. I'm so woke. I'm a straight up insomniac. You know, anybody who goes a sex island eventually becomes a Kurt Loader. <laughs> hey, this is what we do. We're all gonna get laid. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. It's the bonfire. There's, oh, oh, but, 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 Terminator Terminator timeline on the Lost Tapes this week we have Kiss yep. legendary band Kiss Gene Simmons back on the show to tell not us not to how be much, mistaken with Doodoo Brown not to be mistaken with Doodoo Brown but as we are leaving the interview with Gene Simmons from they Kiss told, he's from Kiss <laughs> you do a much better Gene Simmons than I do I used to watch Craig Gaspard all the time you know oh. that was the way he did it made me laugh every time was, this is Gene Simmons from Kiss <laughs> <laughs> but they uh, you see the Spoda comes out and it makes a lot of money from Kiss. <laughs> yeah, they they said there was a band from Germany called The Bonfire. Oh, let's look them up. Yeah, that's right. From the 70s. And he was like, They're Paul, Sta- upset Paul Stanley, who, let me just tell you, big fan of, melted in, melted in the guy's eyes. He told you he listens man. to our show and you got very excited. Show. He listens to The Bonfire. That's why you got excited. Shut up, Jay! You feel like Gene Simmons is competing with you for I, pussy in the world. He is. Everyone knows that women either fuck me or an older Gene Simmons. You know what it is? He has Shannon Tweed with those big... All right, dude! Those are your throwback titties. Dude, those are the Those are your titties. throwback titties, Shannon Tweed. And Hell you yeah. feel like he doesn't appreciate him enough. You're right, dude. And it bothers you. It really does. You want to help her. Yeah. She, Plus... But she doesn't need any help, dude. She's supposed to water dog? Did you just come all over the place, Jacob? What Did happened? you just come from that Shannon Tweed thing I said with the big titties? <laughs> you wipe your pre you like, on your dick? And then you were like, I'm also Jewish, and I could probably get a girl like that? Did you just come all over the place, Jacob? Look at those heavy know. mom bags, dude. Man. Jesus. Why don't you say them again? Why don't you disrespect those perfect oh, breasts again? Look at those fat parmalats. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> let's play some bonfire Are those Germany. some bitches homogenized? Because I'm saying. I'm saying. Those things clove Those things clove with dairy. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. She takes it too. Okay. Yeah. This is Bonfire New Surrender. Never surrender. Yeah. Dude, this is. How have we not? The shreds. When the darkness falls, <laughs> when both sides <laughs> Please, Christine, bring up the lyrics for this song. Uh, What's their biggest hit uh, yeah, find in the out, U.S.? Find out their biggest hit and then find the lyrics for it. Then find an interview with them. Because I definitely want to write a bonfire, a bonfire song from the Bonfire Radio Show. I thought you were gone through the never-thending fog. <laughs> Rising Fire to- never sleeps. Rising to strike the beast. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is an open book. <laughs> Sing good rock lines. Ah, yeah. oh, their biggest song, Shooting Star. Hard Rock from Germany. Wait, 2015? Excuse me? Oh, I like this though. Fucking blare it. Of course you do. This is what you train the fight the school bully to. Fuck you, authority. Everyone's like, why is he taking karate classes in jeans? And you're like, shut up. Yeah. yeah. Can't afford a gi. Yeah. <laughs> I can't afford the gi yet. He goes, that's later in the montage. After I think I, I did a karate a class or two with a sweatshirt and, and jeans on. Hell I'm yeah. pretty you sure I'm going to afford the gi. these guys, yes. It's everything I've wanted. What? Oh, dude, these guys could easily be the fathers of the bonfire. Hello. Oh, they're old now. This is them now? Yeah. Not them. Is this them? Yeah. Oh, what's up? Is that German? That's not the original lead singer by any chance. You can tell the guitar. The guys who are actually freezing cold and wearing winter jackets. How uh, how long must we stand out here? This is very cold in this old barn. He gets us. (laughs) 
Oh, this is yes. when you're training to become the best dirt bike kid in town. Dude, there's putting on a beret. You're new, and nobody wants to. You just try to make friends, but no one would understand you. Dude, you're working down at the pop school store, and people are being mean to you. You're fresh in town now. Although I do realize I do tell the story of moving to my dad's house when I was a teenager for like six months. Oh, yeah, it's like the story of an '80s movie. Like I went there, you and everyone was mean to me. Yeah. And everyone all was the, immediately mean to you? All the, all the neighbor kids were not pretty mean to me. I mean, like, yeah, they were just, like, shitty. Yeah. You know I mean, they were, like, dicky. I was... Did you get along with anybody there? Yeah, my friend Kenny. Kenny! Big, black, big huge black dude. Shout out to Kenny. Hope you're doing well. I'm sure he is. Diabetes. Yeah. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. Sickle cell. Oh, I'm my sure he's God. fine. Both I'm sure those, he's fine. Both of those no, things. I don't know if he has any of those things. But he was a gi- gigantic black dude. Yeah. So, he probably does. <laughs> I uh, he when you moved there for six months and you lived there. Mm-hmm. At what when was the point where you're like, I'm getting the fuck out of here? Well, it took me a, a long training session listening to some Skid Row music. <laughs> yeah, or this to realize. <laughs> yeah, it was more like this. Yeah, make your decision. Jay, you're living in Canton. <laughs> yeah. Reach for the stars. I mean, how, how weird would it be if you met, just like Jacob, if you met like the perfect girl, the perfect girl, and she's like, my favorite band's actually The Bonfire. What do you mean? That'd be great. You'd be, it'd be great? Come on, listen to this. <laughs> Come oh on, take God. this in. Jacob's been wait. he's been waiting to fuck a girl on the shell of a Camaro he keeps up back of his mom's house. Oh, wow, yeah. Just a Camaro shell, he goes... I'm gonna drop a, I'm gonna drop an engine and tranny in this thing next year. And we're gonna have sex, and I'm gonna pull down my white jeans and lift up my tank top. <laughs> and you're gonna catch oh, you the never fucked a guy wearing a baby blue sleeveless tight t-shirt, have you? <laughs> you are. You're gonna, I can see by your face you've never fucked a man with a comb in his back pocket. Well, what's there? Uh, you're, you're right. The original members. <laughs> That guy's ancient. Oh, dude, the guy in the fucking winter jacket with the hood up? Looks like Bill yeah. Murray fucking shred. Yeah. <laughs> he really is. It looks, like, it, looks like he, it looks like he did the snowmobile and then just picked up the fucking guitar and started playing. He goes, oh, is this thing plugged in? He goes, <laughs> yeah. oh, let me see if I can still noodle around on this thing. Here it is. Oh. Wherever they tour, I wonder how many people come out, but it is great. The lead singer certainly is new. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That become- always does look funny to me. That is the funniest thing about Journey is watching this Filipino guy do fucking uh, you know Gene Kelly wall walk flips. Yeah, and the other guys are like you know sitting there like <laughs> drinking. They're drinking Ensures to make sure they keep their calories up and shit. Oh dude, yeah, they have life alerts around their neck. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's fucking doing backflips. One's nursing the tennis elbow. Yeah, and he shit. goes, oh, "What? What? Who are you? Oh, what's on now? What he rocks you? and rolls so hard he broke his heel. Stomping." Stomp it. That's <laughs> still one of my favorite drops. Broke his that, that came out of nowhere. This uh, has got people crazy. Temple, Temple of, Lies. of Lies World well, Tour. Six dates. What's the lies, you guys? We've been lying to you. We're not young. We were just wearing very hip winter coats. I don't know if you know this. As we unshell like a lobster. I need their biography. They go, we Wait, who's the, the bass players from the USA? Born through fire and glory. I don't think that, and the, and the bass player's like, guys, is there like a McDonald's or something in the next town we can get to? I'm tired of eating like hot fish or whatever the fuck yeah. you guys are eating. Can I have not another soup bowl full of eyes? Yeah, can I have sausage stew, just one meal, see if I can maybe get a light, maybe like a, like a I, salad? I don't want to be a thorn in the dick here, but salad. do you guys think there's going to be a Roy Rogers at the next truck stop? I don't even like Roy Rogers, but I cannot eat fucking hot sausage anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I gotta eat something without the word worst in it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, I need something that ain't boiled and cooked all the way through. No, 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 no. The beer cheese is great. It's mm. great. It's I great. swear to you. But I haven't shit in four days. I'm stopped up. I just need some roughage. And guys, it's your culture. I respect it. I truly <laughs> do. I need some roughage. I need something. I need some greens. And you're gonna be something that's gonna get me flowing. Wait a second. What? Klaus Lessman, the vocalist, still original member. Wow. That guy aged fantastic. What is the secret? Look up Klaus does he, Lessman. Does he drink blood? Shitty last name. Klaus? Well, no, I was like... No, but I, Les, like, I like saying that you're like his you like friends. No, Klaus is <laughs> yeah, great. I like Klaus from fucking American Dad. No, Klaus is a great name. Les, Lessman. It's just, is what a fun name. name to bring up where you go, Klaus Lessman? You still know him? That Wait, was not the lead not singer the of that, that video. That ain't the guy that's singing. Dude, are you sure that video was Bonfire? Oh, dude, yes, because the other guys were... I mean, look at the 
Well, no, it tells oh. you. Like, go, go back to the, 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 the new. It says the band, like, who's, who's in it now? No, 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 no. Yeah, there you go. Now, lead vocals is Alex Stahl. Alex, two X's. Yeah. In case you were curious. It's German. The second X is for stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is a porn star name, too. <laughs> Um, Alex Stahl. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But yeah. it's a gay, it's a gay, like, glory hole guy. <laughs> it's just the, it just takes a pound. Look Alex the bathroom stall. Look at the fucking flavor saver on this guy. Yeah, he don't fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, that, by the way, that's getting pussy smell and butthole smell in it. Oh, that and, thing goes deep. And pieces of shredded cabbage or whatever goofy German dish he's eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's his boiled cabbage and your girlfriend's pussy. And Helga. <laughs> Plus, she loved gobbling on my worst. <laughs> uh, oh, the old lead singer. What's he doing now? Just solo shit, huh? He's just yelling. Still at, owns the rights to all the hits, though, I bet. He's just yelling at a wall in a fucking government sponsored nursing home. I was in Bonfire. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crackle, crackle. <laughs> what? That no, doesn't uh, mean anything to me. That means nothing. What you are saying means nothing to me. Oh, those American boys. Oh, they take our style. They take <laughs> our thing. We would riff. We were the riffing band. Now they know for riffing a different thing. If you ever leave the show, I'm replacing you with Alex Stahl. Dude, if I come back in here and it's Alex Stahl. Oh, I Don, looks like uh, somebody else got your chair. Oh, <laughs> looks like. Oh, 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 you, I made things happen and we all just got back from Sex Island. Oh, dude. Oh, it turns out I was only two phone calls away from getting us all to go to Sex Island. <laughs> I knew a guy who knew a guy from St. Petersburg that made it happen. <laughs> they gave us three Latinas a day. The chick wrangler is an old friend. <laughs> the Latina. Yeah. The, girl wrangler. the Latina scout. Yeah. He's a friend of mine. Is this them? Mm-hmm. Don't touch the light. Well, yeah. This is their original album. Thanks. By the way, everyone's clapping at different paces. Oh, man. All the way to the right. That's an original member. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Fucking bowling league, Don. I don't under that vest he has on one of those Home Depot like full back braces. Oh yeah, man, that guy can lift a. You know what I mean? He's got like suspenders yeah. and like fucking. That it, guy it, can lift a half a pallet of something. Oh, he has to put it on like a corset in the morning, like yeah. a fucking vaudeville whore. <laughs> he's got his faint couch at night when he takes it off. <laughs> he's got an old school fainting couch. I bet his buttons. Oh. First, as soon as he gets off stage, yeah, he just he opens a button, and just goes, boo. <laughs> He goes, hold wow. on. Guys. Another show. Another sh- good show, fellas. Alex, great job. You really hit those notes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing back here with us? Go out there and get your pussy. Oh, we are You're a young man. Mm, I would love and insure. Do you have a vanilla? <laughs> oh, so I'm trying to keep my calories up. Oh, say, dog. Danka. Danka. This is really good. Where do they, uh, are they touring America? Nope. The world tour is just in Europe, so kind of not uh, tiled correctly. Yeah. Is it really just in Europe? Yeah. World tour, just Europe. Yep. Hmm. So they could have just called the European tour, or what they do all the time. Or I bet they would really love that Kiss brought them up to us. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's fucking big time. Someone putting you over like that? That's a big one. Don't touch the light. Don't do the voice. We should just change the That's don't, touch, yeah, don't touch the light before I go. It goes, don't call the cops. Give me a 10-minute head start. Yeah. <laughs> if you love me, leather pants. By the way, I don't know if you know this, this, when we were talking to Kiss today, but Gene Simmons was in leather pants. Yeah, no problem with that. That's pretty badass. That kind of Fucking confidence. Put a little baby oil on your legs. Get in them something. <laughs> <laughs> What's the de-shelling like on that? Oh, probably requires a lot of powder and patience. Oh, dude, you got to hear that peel off in a room next to you. He goes, oh, my thighs. I need to rub my thighs. Yes. These thighs have to get out there and perform for kiss. <laughs> You just need that one key. You realize the tour is going to be the most fantastic, fantabulous tour in the world, sponsored by Moneybag Soda. Dude, what do you guys hear? His drummer? Well, we'll bring it. We brought it up. <laughs> we brought it up on the Lost Times with Verzi, because we want to talk about this at yeah, length. And it's, yeah, it just yeah. so happens to be that the show's over, too. What a fun day. 
cheese. Jeremy. Wine bring, and cheese day. Wine and cheese day and our fucking Comedy Central dad's here bringing us Gary gifts. <laughs> so great. <laughs> Gotta take pictures of the action figures and put them up on. Let's go back with mom now. I hate mom. She makes me do homework and chores. <clears throat> Sucks. <laughs> I don't like it. At the Bonfire SXM, oh. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Dude, Jay's specials tonight. So fucking get ready to watch it. Comes out 3 p. 3 a.m. Eastern, midnight Pacific Standard Time. Fucking get ready to watch it as part of the Degenerates. And that's the only plug we're going to do. Is that. It's fucking Jay special. I'm proud of you, buddy. Yeah, it's bigjcomedy.com, dansoda.com. You get all that shit. I'm excited to watch the special, dude. Really Hell excited yeah, to see it. I, I'm excited for the uh, fucking a tranny joke. Going over to Legion of Skanks Halloween party show dude, now. Dude, it's, so it's, it's, it's fucking on. If you haven't had your fill it's of on, me dude. yet, we'll be live uh, in about an hour and a half. Ha! I love you, Dan. I love you here all week, Dan. Uh, baby, you're here all week. I love baby. you so hard, baby. Love you, baby. Love you, baby. We love you guys. Crackle, crackle, motherfucker. Crackle, crackle. We'll see you tomorrow, or we'll talk to you tomorrow. Are you supposed to really say that? Uh-huh.